So I'm finishing up tiling in the shower at the noise remodel project and I wanted to show you a little trick that my tile setter showed me that I thought was brilliant but then kind of stupid and when I thought about it I'm like well duh why wouldn't I do that? Anyway, this is a trick that's used when you have a gap or like the end of your tiles that you need to cut, but it's different at the bottom and it's, you know, a little bit wider or smaller at the top. Gee, can you say wall is not plumb? Does that even exist? <laughs> anyway, I want to show you um, how to make a smooth line and not like stair step tiles. First thing you want to do is measure the gap at the bottom and at the top. All right, so I have two and a half at the bottom and two and an eighth at the top. My gosh, huge difference. But I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and make that a smooth transition instead of stair step tiles. Let's go ahead and do it. For this particular section of wall, I only needed partial tiles, so I rated my cutoff pile. Line up your tiles along their factory edge against a straight edge. The other side of the tile will be against your non-plumb wall. Transfer your measurements on the bottom and top of the tiles, then draw a straight line between the two marks. Number your tiles on the back to keep them in order. Oh, and here's a little tip. If you write your numbers on the keep side of the tile, you won't confuse it with the cutoff side. Line up the marked line on your tile score. Keep in mind this may not square up with the fence on your tile cutter and that's okay. Now go ahead and set the tiles on that non-plumb wall following the order you marked on the backs. The finished result is a smooth line along the wall and not a staggered stair step look. I'll add the link to this full bathroom remodel in the description below or up there on the screen. It's an amazing before and after transformation. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to click that like button below if you liked it. And hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button up there and you'll never miss another DIY video tutorial from Pretty Handy Girl again. Speaking of not missing anything, I'm on all these social channels. Come find me at Pretty Handy Girl.